Good morning, Jace Tunnel here. Today we're at Cedar Bayou. And I don't know if you've heard much about Cedar Bayou. Uh, it's on Matagorda Island, kind of separates a couple islands, but Matagorda Island is kind of the main one that we're on. And it's been closed up over time uh, for different reasons. You know, back when there was an Ixtox spill, I think it was like 1980, uh, they closed it up so no oil would get out into the channel or back up into the bays where the oysters and, you know, seagrass, uh, marsh, all that kind of stuff is. Because of course, those are the nursery grounds for, uh, you know, all the, a lot of things that we catch and love and the reason a lot of people live by the coast because things are growing up there. It's a, you know, nursery for them. And so I'll point out over here, they just got finished uh, dredging a portion of it. And uh, there's one channel that goes across right here. You can see the tide is real low right now. It's a real wide open area. And so actually how these passes are, the, the passes that don't have jetties on them, uh, how they work is they, as storms come in, tide changes, um, the, you know, these things can move. So there's about a mile wide area that's real sandy, no sand dunes and stuff that this will move over time. You know, it might take years. Uh, if a big storm comes, it could happen, you know, in a couple of days. Uh, but currently it goes, um, Cedar Bayou kind of goes back that way into the bay. We have the Gulf of Mexico here. And so it connects them. And then there's a slough that comes in called Vincent Slough that kind of goes back that way. And so with, with all that water moving, you know, they're hoping to, um, it'll keep it open. Uh, and so look at all the birds. And this is, this is pretty funny. You can see all these black skimmers right here. They're hanging out together. There's brown pelicans that are grouped up together. There's uh, some royal terns that are together. Uh, these are uh, red knots, which honestly, I, have, I hardly ever see red knots. These are all red knots. Uh, that's pretty rare uh, for this part of the beach to see that. I mean, I see them down on the National Seashore, sometimes on Mustang, whenever they're uh, migrating through, because they have a crazy migration pattern. Um, but anyway, that's pretty interesting. But it's funny how they're all grouped together here. Uh, but this is where the water goes through. Um, last week, I was able to uh, fly the drone up, and it looked like it was about neck deep in here and there were big fish swimming in here there were bait balls with birds feeding i mean it was pretty amazing so anyway i've taken a lot longer than i was going to but the main thing is today i was going to show you some of that footage that i got so stay tuned and watch for this footage you'll be amazed bye Okay, so now you know a little bit more about the Texas coast. Now that you've seen Cedar Bayou uh, from both on the ground and in the air. So with that, go tell your friends you know a little bit more about the Texas coast. Talk to you later, bye.